We begin tonight with a growing push for gun safety. People in South Florida and across the country were orange today as part of a national movement. The event began five years ago to honor a 15-year-old girl shot and killed in Chicago just one week after performing at President Barack Obama's second inaugural parade. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live in downtown with more on the local demonstrations that took place today. Amber. Good afternoon to you, Maribel. Yes, some of those rallies happen here in downtown Miami, others in Parkland, but all for the same reason, to end gun violence. Let's take a look. Parkland and downtown Miami, families are joining the Wear Orange movement. We all have different ideas about how we can put an end to gun violence. The color orange honors the more than 90 lives cut short and the hundreds more wounded by gun violence every day. And that's why I'm doing this. One day they're going to go to school. And I want to be able to say when I drop my kids off at school that they're going to come home. This year for National Gun Violence Awareness Day and Wear Orange Weekend, politicians, moms, and students are keeping the conversation going about more sensible gun laws. Everybody is sick and tired of the pervasive impacts of gun violence, and they're demanding that something be done, and I stand in full solidarity with them. Mother of three amazing children. April Shentrup lost her daughter Carmen in February. My beloved Carmen was murdered in her classroom at MSD High School. Within seconds, four AR-15 bullets fatally pierced through her body. It's that type of heartache that many are trying to prevent from happening again. It's been three months of pushing for change, asking for answers, wanting gun violence to end. But until it does, their voices won't be silenced. Let's get millions of people in orange shirts started today showing their commitment to vote and to make gun safety the reason why. Back out here live in downtown Miami, Maribel, after this weekend, an estimated 500 organizations, corporations, mayors, and more will have taken part in the movement. Reporting live, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News.